Hello everyone, Chris Erickley here for HS Game Time, joined by our HS Game Time Hoops Guru, Jeff Perenni. Of course, it's time for the HS Game Time Hoops Chat. This week's stop, we're here at Rancho Verde, the Mustangs in the middle of practice right now. They, of course, are in the middle of our top 12, at, towards the top, actually, as a matter of fact. That's where we begin our conversation. The SoCal Hoops Shootout is where we're going to find a lot of our top Inland Empire teams this weekend. That's right. We have uh, three teams at the Southern California Shootout on Saturday at Azusa Pacific. Uh, Mirada Valley, which is number 10 in our ranking, uh, they play at 3 o'clock, the Nighthawks play at 3 o'clock, followed by Rancho Verde at 4.30, and then Centennial against Damien at 6 o'clock, which is a matchup of, I believe, the number three team in the 1AA poll against the number one team in the 3AA poll. Uh, these are the CIF Southern Section polls, the last ones that were up. Keeping the conversation on teams in our top 12 rankings, focusing on the Southwestern League, Jeff, it has been a knockdown drag out fight. Oh yeah, it's a parody of parody down there, uh, where pretty much every team has beaten the other with, uh, with, with one exception. Um, in fact, of the 12 games so far, five of them have come down to the last possession, and seven of them have been 10 points or fewer. In fact, last week, uh, five of the six games were decided by 2.6 points on average. And when it comes to battling for the top of the Big Eight, involving teams like Santiago, King, and uh, Centennial, they've stayed unscathed in the Big Eight, but they could fall victim to the same type of scenario as well. Well, no, it's going on there too. Yeah. Centennial's at the top and everybody else is knocking each other off. Um, we've seen Corona and Santiago and King and Roosevelt all in that mix where, you know, they're, they're knocking each other off. That will decide how the the second tier of that league under Centennial finishes. And of course, we are here at Rancho Verde High School. We're gonna talk about the Mustangs a little bit. Jeff, of course, they're number two in our rankings. They do have a couple losses on the season, undefeated in league though, but the losses they've taken were to top opponents. Oh yeah, absolutely. They played in the uh, tip-off at the Empire uh, tournament at Centennial to begin the season and, and lost to Compton twice within three days. That's two of their losses. And then they went to the Oaks Christian Tournament and had had some great success there, but also picked up two losses. One to Santa Monica, which is number 12 in Southern California based on the LA Times. That was a 46-42. And then the other one was to Calabasas, and that was by a basket, 55-53. And those are the four losses. And uh, they're, they're coming off a game where uh, Monday night and a, and a Martin Luther King shootout where they just absolutely crushed Ventura. And, and they're doing it with defense. You look at their scores, and teams are struggling to score 50 points on them. And in some, case, some cases, they're struggling to score, to score 40 points on them. Yeah, especially in a game against West Ranch, a team that is high up there in the rankings. We got a chance to talk with some of the Mustang senior leaders about their lockdown defense they've had this season. On the court, what is the, what is the key to your success? Uh, defense. It all starts with defense. Our coach always constantly tells us, help each other out. Just keep on helping. Take a charge. Next man up. Just keep doing that, and that also leads us to victories a lot of times because defense is the key to winning to us. Uh, defensive inten intensity with intelligence has been the key this year. We just want to be able to get stops without making silly fouls late in the shot clock and just staying out of foul trouble. Now, Jeff, as far as their defense goes, we did mention the win that they had against West Ranch a couple weeks ago, a team that was highly ranked and had some dominant players that they pretty much shut down. You know, West, Rank, West Ranch is still highly ranked. It's, it's like that, that game never existed to some of these rankings. LA Times has them number 16, and in max preps, they're number 21 in the state. And uh, Rancho Verde beat them 56 to 35, just shut them down. And it's that kind of lockdown defense uh, that's going to be, you know, it's going to keep them in games through the playoffs. Now this may be uh, North's first year in the Inland Valley League. They made the shift over from the Big Eight, but they are having a budding rivalry with Rancho Verde. That looks to be a battle for the top. We got a chance to talk with a few of the seniors here for the Mustangs to talk about what it's going to be like in round two with JW North. Oh, a way tougher game than the last one. The first, the first one, don't get me wrong, was tough. But knowing that they beat us and they're going to hate that and we beat them at home. So they're going to want to come get us here. 
Yeah, 55-52. Was that score indicative of that game? Yes, it was. Real, real tough game. Every point was earned that game. Every point from both teams. And and, and the one here is going to be tougher? Oh, yeah, I believe so because they're going to be fired up to play us. So we just got to stay poised and composed, and we should be able to come out with the W just like last night. Now, Jeff, we know that uh, Rancho Verde actually went to North and got the W a few weeks ago on their home turf. What's it going to be like now when uh, Rancho Verde has to host the Huskies? Well, it was 55-52 up in Riverside, so when the Huskies come down here to uh, the Rancho Verde, uh, it, should be, uh, it should be a hot ticket. The place should be packed. Uh, it should be a great high school basketball. Now, as far as you're concerned, you believe this will be the battle for the league title? Oh, I don't think there's any question. These two, uh, North and Rancho Verde, are clearly superior in this league. Arlington, I think, is a notch below. Um, and then after that, I mean, Rancho Verde is beating people by 25 points in this league. And, uh, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, Rancho Verde, it's Rancho Verde and North for the Inland Valley League. All right, be sure to keep it tuned to HS Game Time right here. We'll have full coverage highlights and a story from that game. Keep it locked when North and the Mustangs take the court. That does it for this week's edition of the HS Game Time Hoops Chat. For Jeff Perenni, I'm Chris Erkley, and we'll see you next week.